coming up on Coastman Through Europe. Whoa. <laughs> and there is our first look at the B&M Family Wing Coaster. What was that? Like, I don't, I don't get it. Whoa! Why does your gun sound like it's farting? Good morning everyone from Legoland, Germany. It's our first time at our second Lego park here on this trip after Legoland Windsor. Tanner, your first international Legoland park. Yay. Uh, this one's notable though because we have a B&M family wing coaster that we're gonna do. Yeah, so we already did the uh, family wing coaster at Chessington. Um, we weren't like huge into it. The theming was really, really cool. I imagine this is gonna be a similar situation where it's really cool looking, but maybe it doesn't ride the best, or maybe it doesn't really make sense in the context of the park, but it should be fun to do anyway. And, and you know, they have some interesting looking attractions here. I can see a Gerstlau Skyfly going, looks like there's an observation tower. I think there's a total of four roller coasters here. And then next door, afterwards, we're gonna head over to the brand new Peppa Pig theme park. Oh, I just that, saw Daddy Pig go. Yep, it's right oh, over there. We can oh, see it. Gosh. It's just across the parking lot. It Wait, opened I, have this year. Have you done year. the one in Florida? No. Oh my God, your first Daddy Pig is gonna be here. In Germany. Wow. I love yeah, that. I, I believe I believe it's going to be the exact same as the one in Florida, so um, yeah, it'll be fun regardless, so let's go out inside. I love this, right at the entrance to the park, you have someone helping a guy over the fence, like he's breaking in, he didn't buy a day ticket. <laughs> That's so good. Welcome inside Legoland, Germany. Very modest front entrance. One thing I do want to note that they have straight away are these models of Lego figures, like a full family here sitting on a bench. You got a kid, there's a dog trying to get something out of a cooler, a baby in a stroller. This is hilarious, it's awesome. I cannot believe there is a Gerstlauer Skyfly in a Lego park. I I'm not gonna lie, it seems like they're kind of trying to like up the thrill level at this one. And I'm for it. So the wing coaster actually kind of makes sense now that I'm here. Yeah, because yeah, you also said you saw a kooka arm. Yeah, there's a kooka arm here, a robot oh, arm. Oh, I'm not doing that again. Oh, I totally am. Okay, I'm not. That <laughs> but was that's, awful. That is, in theory, three rides that there. take you upside down here. Yeah. yeah. Which is three more than normal. We're entering what I believe is the Great Lego Race. At least that's the name of the one in Florida. And this looks to be identical. Not too bad of a wait, actually. All right, first coaster of the day. Woohoo! Yeah, it looks like an exact clone of the one at uh, Legoland, Florida. Oh, that's a big drop! Whoa! Aw, <laughs> uh. oh, Tanner, there's those trims. <laughs> Whee! Oh. Well, it's more comfortable. Most wild mouse coasters, you get slammed around. Whee! Yeah, so far, no aggressive slamming. That's what Tanner wanted, though. <laughs> Oh, there's the trap. <laughs> oh, dueling. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Oh, the thing we did in Europe. That was a thing we did in Europe. <laughs> right next to the Wild Mouse is a splash pad and it looks like a 40 theater. They offer different shows in there with Friends, Ninjago, Mythica, City, just depending on the time. Not only do they have one of these things, but they have a second one right next to it. Double the capacity. You guys ready? I love these things. They're so fun. Let's do some drifting. <laughs> oh, I got my shoes wet. Whoa! That is awesome. These are so fun. I want every park to have one. I know. These things are great. Right next door is Legoland Atlantis by Sea Life. I guess this is set up to look like the Lost Kingdom of Atlantis, and that's like the general theme around the aquarium. 
Have y'all been yeah. yeah. Yes. That's fun. Yeah, literally, right? <laughs> I like all the random Lego like figures. Look, this one's floating. That's cool. Oh, uh, hey, buddy. <laughs> well, it's no submarine ride, but it's still fun. It, it reminds me of they have a uh, same thing at like Alton Towers, just like a separate sea life area. And like every Lego park, they do have a Ninjago section. We're gonna skip over this attraction though. Uh, it's a good arm workout, but eh, done them before. Now here's something distinctly European. They have one of these things. It's like a big version of the ride that we just saw. Version. What? It's like, upside down. it's like a high capacity version. Yeah. Does it go upside down? It's yeah. Like five so. rides that are gonna so make you go upside down. So another one. Wow. So they have a lot of rides here that take you upside down. Man, this is like the extreme Lego park. I mean, like easily the, the most cedar point of the Lego lands. It's the most thrilling of the Lego parks. For I mean, sure. like Germans go hard. Let's be real. <laughs> <laughs> this is a beautiful splash battle. Look at this theming. It's incredible. So fun fact for you, the name of this ride is De Schungel Expedition, which is German for Jungle Expedition, which is literally the exact same name as the land at King's Dominion. Go figure. And there is our first look at the B&M Family Wing Coaster. We're going to go do it in a second, but first we're going to hit up this dark ride. It's called Temple Expedition. Why does your gun sound like it's farting? <laughs> I think the different colors mean different things. How are you doing? Uh, I, I can't figure out what I'm shooting at. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, I can't get past how that thing sounds. <laughs> Oh, I think that was the end already. That was pretty short, but it's cool. Fata Morhana? Isn't that a ride at the Efteling? Okay, so now we made it to Mythica. Uh, last time we did Mythica, the main attraction was a flying theater, which was really awesome. So now we have a wing coaster. And it was new as of last year, is that correct? Yeah, same year as uh, the Chessington Wing Coaster. Yeah. So it's the year of the family wing coaster. We're one for two so far. <laughs> so we'll see how this one goes. moment you've all been waiting for, our first ride on Maximus, the Lego wing coaster. Did you look and see that this is the same entrance as the flying theater that I was just talking about? Yeah, it is, with the lion. That looks very cool. Yeah, it's amazing. I guess the same character. Right, right. Here's the train. So five rows, of course, uh, two, two trains. Yep, two trains and two passengers on each side. So 20 people per train. They have display cabinets with different creatures in it. That is also the same as the flying theater that we just did. Off we go, riding Maximus, the family wing coaster. <laughs> I know, I can't believe it's a thing either. It, it's neat. I, I can't help but wonder how much these will take off though. Maybe there's already two. There's
There is already two. I don't know. Well, they are decent sized parks. Uh, we'll have to wait and see if uh, any more Lego parks end up buying one of these, but here we go. Very shallow first drop. Whoa! Bouncy, yeah, you pull some G's. <laughs> Whoa! Oh yeah, you dangle there. That's actually good hang time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, definitely little a little twist. bouncy out yeah. <laughs> Whoa! Over the entrance, yep. Just hang in there sideways for a second. And that's it. That is it. Solid. Yeah, it's an odd one. We just got off our first ever ride there on Maximus here at Legoland Germany. Um, it's weird. It's bizarre. <laughs> it is, but I feel like we always say that parks need better in-between coasters to work kids up to doing the high thrill ones. And as much as we're like, this is so weird that it goes upside down twice, I mean, you gotta get used to it eventually if you want to ride the bigger stuff. So. I get it. If this was like one of two coasters in the park, it'd be a little weird, but they do have other ones that are not as high thrill. Uh, the layout is definitely better than Chessington's. I thought it rode better than Chessington's. It, it's uh, more forceful. The yeah. the first like helix, I actually like grayed out a little bit. I, did too. I was like, a tiny bit. yeah. Should we be ashamed of that? Should we drink more water? It, it's hot out. It is hot out. We will definitely add that. Um, it's a short ride, it's, for sure. It's strange. It's good for a Lego Land coaster. I put it that way it is good for that sense but it's it's weird because it's not really like a thrill coaster because it is pretty tame but it's also not a family coaster because it has two inversions and it's a wing coaster okay but think of yourself at the age of like 12 i had been terrified at well 12 no i would have been fine okay. but like a little kid like if i was like still like uh like say like six to eight i'd been terrified of it. but the thing is that the demographic here goes up a bit higher that's true so for a kid who's like you know like a 12 11 10 11 12 year old like like i can do that and it's not so much that it's like ah, but the, it's not so little that it's like i'm bored you the, know? the fact that it's not tall i think helps it for not being as intimidating um i think visually it's cool looking but i'm not gonna lie i hit the brake run i was like what well, like what was what was that? Like, I don't, I don't get it. <laughs> We're going to come back to Maximus for more rides, but first, we need to stop and get some lunch. So we went to the Pizza Time Cafe or whatever it's called. Solid. Yeah, it's not bad at all. No. Pretty flavorful. How was it? Pretty good. This is a neat effect that in the archway, you can see underneath the rock work are Lego bricks. That's so fun. They also have a big like LED screen here where you can see like some stuff happening on it. All right, let's go again. It's so hot here. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, I guess that there's a lot of old buildings here that like, it'd be really hard to try to add central air, but there's a lot of new buildings that they just don't add big fans or anything to. And it, it like, I think people maybe are in denial that it does get hot here. It yeah. does. Yeah. And it doesn't make sense not to have it. Like there's a little bit from right where I'm standing, but it's not much. I just, when it's almost, what is it, like 85 right now, yeah. there should be fans at, at the very least. And it's like, most of the buildings here are not that old. I was saying, this opened last year, so don't know what the deal is. Ride number two is going to be on the other side, in the back row. Let's see how it is. Two more laps there on Maximus to bring our total on this attraction to the day for three, although Tanner did get a fourth one. Uh, Tanner, you said you never rode in the inside seat? No. 
Why? I'm like kind of curious, like if it rode different. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. in case you're wondering, the outside seat is definitely bouncier than the inside seats. But I feel like that's pretty much all wing coasters. So he doesn't mind. He has a high tolerance. Anyways. Um, the thing is, it's bouncy, but it doesn't hurt. No, it just, no. It's inevitable. You're very far away from like the track. I feel like it's. It's Any gonna, slight vibration is going to be amplified the yeah. farther out you go. So the, yeah. the Correct. center axis is starting to vibrate, but out here it's like kind of doing that. Definitely. Exactly. That's why wing coasters do that. Yep. Yeah, so it's inevitable. It's just yep. a normal B&M rattle, but you're just gets it more amplified because you're farther yeah. away from the axis. Yeah. The, the valleys are also definitely uh, bouncier than the sections where you're rising up. But it happens. The hang time on the first inversion is actually pretty good. I would say it's better in the back for that moment than the front. Yeah. It's just so weird I couldn't get over. I'm like, okay, I want to be in a wing coaster. And then we turn out and I'm like, oh, that's a tiny lift hill. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, where's the wing over drop? Like, <laughs> yeah. It's just, yeah, it's an odd adjustment. We're entering the imagination zone. I like this uh, transport ride going up over our heads. This is awesome. Look at that. Oh, also, Observation deck is right around here. Welcome to the medieval section. Beautiful castle here. I like this. Yeah, so this coaster has dragons all over it, but I don't think it is the dragon. I think the dragon is that one. I see a coaster over there, and then there's this coaster right here. Tanner, you said this is a Gerslauer? Yeah. Cool. That's different. We don't really have those at the other Lego parks. I really like that they themed all the footers. Hey, off we go. There's no Dragon's Apprentice here, so this is like the closest we get to it. But it's not Dragon, so maybe it kind of is. Maybe it's Dragon's Apprentice in German. It might be, yeah. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> There's the Dragon! This is cute. Yeah, this this is a lot better than like just the standard run-of-the-mill uh, Zamperla like gravity coasters, like some of the other Dragon's Apprentice rides. That is one talented Lego bird. You know, it might be the same castle at all the parks, but it never gets old. I wish it was actually made out of Legos. Yeah. Oh well, that would be wildly impressive. But it's just a very very impressive structure. Here we are at. Uh, however you pronounce that, but it means dragon. Here we are, starting off with our dark ride section. Oh, it's always awesome. It's always interesting seeing what is the same at the different dragon coasters than what is different. This part is really dark. We just did the dragon at Legoland Windsor, and it was a completely different layout. This one, on the other hand, looks like the one at Legoland New York that we recently did, and also the one in Dubai. Here we go! Woo! Plus some decent forces there. Actually, a decent number of positives. Oh, hard stop. <laughs> Good stuff. Yep. Fun. Good job. Yeah. There's our Skyfly. Although, here's the weird thing I just noticed. It is themed to Ninjago, however, it is not in the Ninjago section. This is the Lego City section. That was a weird choice. I wonder if this came first. 
And here we are, back at the front, looking at Miniland. Look! It's the thing! We were just there last night. Literally there last the night. New wow, that looks amazing. You know? It's equally beautiful here. Equally beautiful. Yeah, equally beautiful. So next time we want to see it, we'll just come here instead. Or Sora. And, you know. and since we couldn't go in the real castle, we'll just have to look in the fake castle. That's what the interior is. <laughs> Here we have some famous landmarks from around the world. So of course we have the Eiffel Tower in Paris. This is One World Trade Center in New York. This is in Mecca, Saudi Arabia. Over here, this is in Shenzhen, China. And of course, the Burj Khalifa in Dubai. They have the city of Lucerne, Switzerland here. We were literally just here two days ago, walking across this bridge. We went up on the castle walls. Really, really cool. It's fun seeing it in Lego form. Look at all the windmills. You can see Amsterdam, all the waterways. This whole part represents the Netherlands. And then right here in the center, the city of Frankfurt. And on the other side, Berlin. There's the TV tower right over there, the Brandenburg Gate. This is a city I really, really want to visit, but haven't. So one day, because we're not doing it on this trip. Even the train crossing has pavers that look like Lego bricks. That is the level of detail I love to see. And seeing Miniland like that is the perfect end to our day here at Legoland Germany. Now, unfortunately, uh, we lost track of time and Peppa Pig Land actually closed early. So we aren't able to go. We were fully anticipating doing it, but then we didn't realize that they closed earlier than the main Legoland park. So unfortunately, no Daddy Pig for us. So. I guess we're just going to go ahead and head out. Uh, we are staying near Europa Park tonight in the city of Rust. So we're going to go ahead and do the two and a half, three hour drive over to Rust for our day tomorrow. And home sweet pineapple, welcome to the town of Rust. We're literally on the other side of Europa Park. Like, th like over there is the Observation Tower and Silver Star. And we got amazing views driving in. We're at an Airbnb within walking distance to the front entrance. And look at this. This is a place in Europe. It is a place in Europe. This is, a, like this is fun. Everyone's sleeping in one big room. Yay! <laughs> oh, can't we get a view of the park from here? No, we cannot. Just a short five minute drive away from our Airbnb. We're gonna go check out Hotel Kronosar tonight. This hotel looks so impressive. I'm excited to see it. And look who we ran into. Wow, making her first ever appearance at Europa Park. Gabby, yes. welcome to Germany. One plane ride, four train rides, one bus, and a lot of hours later, Oh I found my you. gosh, are you like super jet lagged? I'm past the point of jet lagged, I am. I'm well, too far gone. Props to you for making it through and saying, you know what, even though I'm super tired, we're yeah. going to go to check out yeah. uh, Kronosar. And if I don't mind saying, I look pretty good. I was going to say, considering everything you did, that's not bad. What can I say? <laughs> a spray tan goes a long way. <laughs> How many glasses of wine, Gabby? <laughs> oh, yeah, and Jen's here, too. Hi, guys! <laughs> Welcome to oh, Europe for your first time. Yes, I hope they have talent at 30 Park. They do not. Unfortunately, there, there is one B&M here, but it's not an invert. What is it? It's Silver Star. What is it? <laughs> it's a Phantom Hyper. <laughs> Whoa. What the heck? Taylor, is that real? Um, yes. No, you've had too many glasses of wine. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> we, yeah, we couldn't afford to stay here. <laughs> this is way too nice. Wow. This is so cool. This is the bar area. We have a ship right here on the table. Wow, this is so nice. Oh my gosh, look, and there's Rulantica. You've never been here? No, not this hotel. Oh. 
No, this is really, really cool. We're right up along the water. Oh, this is so nice. And here's those buildings looking straight out of like Norway. Wow, absolutely stunning. This crane is like moving back and forth just as a theming element. Oh my gosh. So these boats out in the water is actually like part of the restaurant that's here. You can go and dine on this if you want. That's fantastic. All right, we're back at our Airbnb after an amazing time checking out Hotel Kronosar. Uh, absolutely beautiful here in Rust, Germany. Definitely go check it out if you get the opportunity to. This was a great day. Fantastic time at Legoland, Germany. Even though we didn't get the chance to check out Peppa Pig like we wanted to, that's okay. Um, everything that we did do was awesome. Really exciting day coming up. Europa Park, day one tomorrow. So. Um, we're gonna go ride Voltron for the first time, which like beyond excited for. I can't wait. So, anyways, I'm on autopilot. you're on autopilot. All right, you should go to bed. It's after midnight. They open at 9 a.m. <laughs> we're gonna rope drop this six, thing. So I know, I know. Either. Yeah, we gotta make make do with the time that we have. So, um, Sarah's 14 already 14 ghosts for today. 14. That's right. There's so many. Sarah's already passed out. It's fine. Um, anyways, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Uh, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time. Next up on Coasting Through Europe. We all just got off Voltron Nevera for the first time. It literally does everything you would want in a coach. We came all the way to Germany to go to Epcot. Woo! I'm like oh. so impressed. I'm blown away. Oh my god! <laughs>